subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Over billions of years of evolution, life on Earth has evolved to reproduce in several ways. From simple cells dividing themselves to animals having sex and viruses making copies of their genetic codes. But there is still so much left to learn about how life perpetuates. A team of scientists in the US have now discovered an entirely new form of biological reproduction one where computer-designed living cells replicate by assembling parts from other cells. In this video, I explain the creation of the world's first self-replicating living robots, how they reproduce and why researchers think that these microscopic robots could pave the way for advancements towards regenerative medicine. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. To persist, life must reproduce. The process of cellular reproduction is well known. Cells reproduce by first copying their contents and then dividing such that each of the resulting two cells has the same components. Some single-celled organisms such as bacteria and some types of fungi and algae primarily reproduce by dividing themselves into daughter cells. Cell reproduction is also responsible for creating supporting cells in multicellular organisms. In these multicellular organisms, many rounds of cell reproduction are often necessary to create new individuals. Viruses, on the other hand, reproduce by invading a host cell and using the stored energy in the cell to make copies of their own genetic code. But scientists at the University of Vermont Tufts University and Howard University in the US have now discovered an entirely new form of biological reproduction which they are calling kinematic self-replication. Kinematic self-replication is a concept that has been discussed from back in the 1800s. It was the Hungarian-American polymath John von Neumann who first gave a detailed conceptual proposal for a self-replicating machine in lectures delivered in 1948. He proposed a kinematic model of self-reproducing automata as a thought experiment. Von Neumann's concept described a hypothetical self-replicating machine which was kept in a room of spare parts as its source of raw materials. The machine had a program stored on a memory tape that directed it to retrieve parts, assemble them into a copy of itself and then replicate the contents of its memory tape into its progeny. His implication that evolution requires information to be copied and passed to the offspring actually preceded the discovery of the structure of the DNA molecule, which is basically a memory tape of sorts for an animal. But such form of self-replication is not seen in living cells. The team from US had last year successfully built the first living robots which they called Xenobots. The first Xenobots were built using blueprints generated by an artificial intelligence program. Xenobots are usually smaller than a millimeter wide and composed of skin cells and heart muscle cells. These cells are derived from stem cells harvested from early stage embryos of the African clawed frog or Xenopus lavis. The skin cells provide rigid support and the heart cells act as small motors, contracting and expanding, allowing the Xenobot to move forward. Using simulations and AI, Xenobots have been designed to walk, swim, push pellets, carry payloads and work together in a swarm to aggregate debris scattered along the surface of their dish into neat piles. They have been previously shown to survive for weeks without food and heal themselves after lacerations. Other kinds of motors and sensors have been incorporated into xenobots. Instead of a heart muscle, xenobots can grow patches of cilia which are small hair-like structures and use them as small oars for swimming. In their most recent work, the scientists found that these organisms can swim out and gather hundreds of single cells together and assemble baby xenobots inside their so-called mouth. After a few days, 
these assemblies become new xenobots that look and move just like their parents. The new xenobots can repeat this process of replication. Each round of replication takes about a week. The results of the new research was published this week in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the link to which you can find in the description box below. The cells that the researchers have used would develop into skin in a Xenopaslavus frog if they were not isolated. Researchers explain that left alone, these cells would protect a tadpole by keeping out pathogens and redistributing mucus. But the experiments gave these cells a chance to reimagine themselves. The research shows that even though scientists have long thought that humans have worked out all the ways that life can reproduce or replicate, there is still a lot that we have never observed before. The team described their discovery as profound. The cells continue to have the genome of a frog but freed from becoming tadpoles, they use their collective intelligence to do something entirely unexpected. The frog cells replicate in a way that has never been observed in any animal or plant known to science. The xenobot parent, made of some 3000 cells, forms a sphere. These then make the children but then the system normally dies out as after that it runs out of energy. Using an artificial intelligence program on a supercomputer cluster, an algorithm was able to test billions of body shapes such as triangles, squares, pyramids or starfish to find ones that allowed the cells to be more effective at replication reported in the new research. After months of simulation, the AI came up with a design that resembles the computer game Pac-Man. According to the researchers, this design is very non-intuitive, not something a human engineer would come up with. However, when the team did build these Pac-Man shaped parent xenobots, the design greatly extended the number of generations that the organism could produce. Kinematic replication is well known at the level of molecules, but it has never been observed before at the scale of whole cells or organisms. The notion of a self-replicating biotechnology can raise concern or even terror for some people, but for this team of scientists, the goal is a deeper understanding of how replication works. The team assures that the millimeter-sized machines were entirely contained in a laboratory, can be easily extinguished and wetted by federal, state and institutional ethics experts. For the team, this is an ideal system in which they can study self-replicating systems, understand the conditions under which they can be controlled, directed, doused or even amplified. The team sees promise in the research for advancements towards regenerative medicine, the research could help find quick solutions to traumatic injury, birth defects, cancer and aging. Using kinematic self-replication would mean that only a small amount of such living robots will be required to be deployed at the beginning of any task and with time they can rapidly grow. Using computers their growth and function can be controlled. Even if at present the behaviours exhibited by these organisms are very basic, the researchers believe that AI design methods can help create organisms capable of undertaking more complex tasks and eventually guide cells into more useful forms. The researchers note that all organisms possess deep reservoirs of adaptive potential allowing for manual or automated interventions that modify their behavior. This is Mohana Basu, special correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.